In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you my 1% rule risk management strategy that can always help you stay profitable in the market, even if you're a beginner. All right. And the strategy I'm going to share with you in this video, if you apply it in cryptocurrency trading, it works. If you apply it in the forest market, it works. If you apply it in the stock market, it works. Okay. Despite the market, they're going to use this. This works very well. If only you can follow the rules all right so with that being said if you are new to the channel if this is your first time of seeing my videos then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you want to learn more by being a part of the community link to join my telegram group will be in the video description all right so without further ado let's jump right into it now i want to let you know that the reason why a lot of traders fail is because of poor risk management if you don't manage your risks very well then you are prone to always losing your account, which is not good, okay? It is not good for you as a trader if you have come here to make, even if it is good, trading is a side hustle for you, all right? You have to still treat it as a business, okay? That is why it is good, even as a beginner, okay, that you manage your risks very well. Even if you have been in trading for years now, if you don't manage your risks very well, then at the end of the day, you end up losing your money. So what is risk management? Okay, when we talk about risk management, we are looking at two terms. Number one is risk and the second one is management. Okay, the reason for this is because trading is very risky. All right, trading is very, very risky. And if you don't manage the risks that are involved in trading, that is when you end up, you know, blowing up your account. When we talk about risk management, risk management does not prevent you from losing trades. Okay, risk management doesn't prevent you from losing trades. So you don't need to say, oh, why am I losing trade even when I'm implementing this risk management? Just like I'll be sharing with you in a moment, okay? You can actually have a losing trade and have a winning trade and at the end of the day, you'll still be making profit, all right? That is when risk management comes in. So what risk management does is that it helps to cut down, you know, losses, okay? It helps to protect you as a trader from losing all of your money okay if you lose all of your money then you don't have anything else to you know proceed in your trading career and the rest then you get wrecked okay so if as a trader okay you are able to manage your risks very well all right it means that you are opening up yourself for making money in the market okay so once again to re-emphasize risk management doesn't mean that you are not going to be losing trade okay but the, uh, the, the, the trades, the, the amount of money you are ready to lose per trade, and then the amount of money you are ready to make per trade will determine, okay, your risk management strategy, all right? So if you don't do this very well, then you end up losing all of your money, which is not good, okay? All right, so right now we are proceeding to the 1% rule risk management strategy that can always help you stay profitable in the market. All right. Now, do you know that if you use a position size for your trades, okay, risking only 1% of your portfolio, okay, 1% of your account size per trade, and then aiming to make a risk reward ratio of 1 to 3, okay, your break even rate win rate is going to be 25%. Yes your break-even win rate is going to be 25%. Now, what this means is this, okay? You can actually have, let's say you, you have decided to take up to 100 trades, okay? Out of these 100 trades, if you lose 75 of those trades, okay, and then win only 25 of those trades, using the risk-reward ratio of 1 to 3 without losing any money. What if you improve your win rate, okay? If you improve your win rate out of 100 trades, let's say 50 of those trades are winning trades, okay? And then you are still maintaining that 1 to 3 risk reward ratio, okay? And then 50 of those trades become losses, okay? Become a losing trade. If, if it is a losing trade, at the end of the day, you will still end up doubling your account, meaning that your account can be, you know, 100% up, all right? Out of 100 trades and you're maintaining a risk reward ratio of one to three okay i mean i'm going to explain what this risk reward ratio simply means okay and then you lose 50 of those trades and then you know 
50 of those trades become a winning trade, you are still going to double your account. All right. So let me explain. Um, what this means is that let's say, let's say my portfolio is worth ten thousand dollars. Okay, and then I want to make hundred trades with a risk reward ratio of one to three. What this means is that for every one percent risk, okay, for every one percent risk, I'll be losing a hundred dollar out of the ten thousand dollars. All right. And for a winning trade, I will be making three times reward of what I'm risking, which is $300. Okay. This is exactly what this risk reward ratio of one to three is. This is what this means. It means that out of this amount that I have here, okay, I'm going to risk only $100, which is 1% of the $10,000 that I have here. All right. And then I am going to be making for any win trade, I'm going to be making $300. Okay, which is three times the amount of money that I'm risking. All right, this is what happened. If you're able to risk, let's say out of hundred trades, okay, if you lose fifty of that, okay, you're going to be losing one percent of that, and then if you win fifty of that, you're going to be making three percent of that. Okay, so if you're able to apply this very well, what it means is that at the end of the day, okay, that fifty trades are you know winning trades, and then you lose 50 out of that, you will still be doubling your account. Okay. For example, all right. So this is what it means. My portfolio is worth 10,000, um, you know, dollars or USDT. Okay. And then 50 of those trades by 300, which is at the three win, uh, 50 win trades. Okay. If you multiply the 50 win trades by 300, because in every trade, our aim is to make $300, which is 3% of our account. Okay. So, $300, if you multiply that by 50 win trades, that is going to give you 15,000. Okay. It's going to give you 15,000. And then if you lose 50 of those trades and then you multiply it by $100, that is $5,000. Okay. So if we now add up this, let's say we add up the 10,000. Okay. To the 15,000, which is the winning trade, and then deduct that from the 5,000, which is the um, losing trade. Right now, we now have an account size of $20,000, all right? An account size of $20,000, meaning that out of the 100 trades that we took, okay, we have been able to double our account by 100%, okay? We have been able to double our account by 100%, all right? So this is what risk management entails, okay? That you are always ready to lose lesser the amount of money you are ready to make okay so if if you go ahead and you know put this into practice and you are able to uh, you know carry out 100 trades and out of those 100 trades 50 are you know trades that 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 are you know win trades and then the other one are losses then at the end of the day you still end up making or doubling your account size okay now if you increase your win rate to let's say 75 percent then more money in your pocket if you increase it to 80%, more money. If you increase it to 90%, more money in your pocket. So now the question um, you may be asking is that how do you implement this when it comes to trading? Now I trade crypto and I'm going to experiment this using the Bitcoin chart. Okay, so for you to be able to implement this, you don't really need to bring out a calculator and start punching your calculator to be able to do this. All you need is a trading view account. Okay, so you need a trading view account. And then on the trading view account, we have the long position two and then the short position two. Whenever you want to carry out a trade, okay, I'm going to demonstrate this using the long position two. As you can see here, this is the long position two. This is available on trading view. It is equally available on the exchanges. If your exchange has a trading view chart embedded into their, you know, chatting platform, you can equally use that on the exchange. All right. So let's say I enter this trade somewhere here, okay. Now, this is the long position too. It means that I follow this market. Okay. I just follow this market uh, that direction. All right. And then what happens is that I just plot in my long position two into it. So this is what you want to pay attention to. Now, this is the risk reward ratio that I've been referring to. This is one, um, the risk reward ratio. Okay. Which is, uh, what this means is that I'm ready to make three times the amount of money that I'm losing. So I'm, lo I'm going to be my stop loss is going to be 1% and then my take profit will be three times the amount. Okay. 
So this green bar you are seeing here is three times the size of this red bar you are seeing here. So this zone is our stop loss zone and then this zone is our take profit zone. Okay, this is what this risk reward ratio of 3.18 means. It means that the green zone here is three times the red zone, which is our um at, at our stop loss area. Okay, so the price here, whatever the price here is, this is what is going to be our entering price. Then here will be our stop loss, and then here will be our take profit. Okay, to be able to set up this trading view on on your trading view account to be able to set this up okay you need once you plot it into the chart just double click on it and when you double click on it this dialog box will pop up okay this dialog box will pop up now on the input side here all right you want to come in here where it says account size this is what you are, where you are going to put whatever amount of money you are starting your trading with okay let's say on your exchange on your futures trading account you have ten thousand dollars or one thousand dollars or hundred dollars or five hundred dollars go ahead and put that in here now for the lot size okay um because i trade features i trade crypto i just put let's say if i'm using 10x leverage okay i've just put in 10x here if i'm putting 20x leverage i just put in 20x leverage here okay now for the risks we are ready to risk one percent all right this is all you need to change okay put in the amount or your trading capital okay that you're going to start with then put in the size of the leverage you want to start with and then put the size here okay the the risk yeah you what you're ready to risk if it is two percent go ahead and put two percent if it is one percent go ahead and put one percent after that click on okay all right once you click okay as you continue to drag this in your chart this is what you want to pay attention to okay you want to pay attention to where it says quantity all right once you get this 3.1 okay um if it is two percent you want to raise it means that it's going to be 3.2 meaning that you are going to be making three times the amount of money um you are going to be making three times or that amount of money and then you are going to be losing two times whatever your trading the size of your trading capital is okay so once you plot this this is what you want to pay attention to which is the size now this is for btc all right and then the size is that what I'm going to open when I open a trade on my exchange, I'm going to put in 0 0.32 BTC. All right. Whatever it costs me based on the leverage I'm using in USDT, that is what I'm going to, you know, put in. And at the end of the day, all right, you see that I'm risking 1%, which is a hundred dollar. And then I'm going to be making a profit of, you know, um, three times that amount of money that I'm risking, which is 300 in this case. So this is all you need to plot in your chart. All right. I'll be making a video on the long and short position too on how to use them. If you don't understand this, but this should get you started as a trader. You should be able to work with this. All right. So basically, that is all I have to share with you in this video. Once again, I want to remind you that if you are able to manage your risk and in every trade, you are ready to lose 1% of whatever you are risking and then make three times that amount of money, even if you have a winning trade of 50 and then a losing trade of 50 trades, you will still end up doubling your account all right now for those of you who may actually want to you know start that you don't want to stress yourself by doing technical analysis and start trading then you can come in here to the bitget exchange okay and copy professional traders copying a trader on the bitget exchange can help you make um consistent profit on a passive mode okay from the bitget exchange all you just need to do is to use the link in the video description and sign up okay you can see the percentage for each of these traders for instance if i go ahead and open up this um, guy if i click let us look at the statistics of this um this person now this is a trader okay this is a trader already where he says full it means that this person has 1000 people copying following him or, or how already okay that is why it is full if it is let's say um um out of 1000 that this person needs out of 1000 trader that he wants to copy or follow him if out of this 1000 is only 9000 that are followed means that you still see a button that says follow now if you don't see any follow here just click on slide reminder so that when there is a space you'll be reminded that there is a space for this trader for you to go and follow but one thing i want you to pay attention to is this okay out of um this is the return this person has made so far and then this person joined like 75 days ago okay and then out of 212 trades okay this person has 
211 trade as a winning trade and then one loss okay this is one losing trade so with what i just showed you now if this person is implementing that style of strategy you can imagine how much this person is making in this trade but if i scroll down here and then click on where it says followers let me show you how much this guy is making for those who are following him. okay these are the top um the top 10 you can click on the next button here to see more but these are the top followers who are benefiting from copying this guy's trade okay you can see that the profit this person has made so far this person alone this first person here has made over 39,000 um usdt this person has made over 26,000 this person has made over 22 so if you scroll down here you see that this trader has made a lot of traders money by just copying them okay uh, this person is just copying a trader without doing anything and then making all of this return on a daily basis so i will make videos as we proceed even on the telegram you can equally ask questions and the rest but bitget is one of the platform even if you are going to learn how to trade you can equally be copying traders and be learning from the trades they are taking as well so if you want you can use the link in the video description to sign up that is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video